Hello everyone, how are you doing today? In this video, we are going to talk about how to use Apache Kafka from Python programming language. And to do that, we are going to use a Python library called Confluent Kafka. There are other Python libraries like Kafka Python, but this video is not about comparison between different libraries. This is all about how we can use Confluent Kafka in Python to interact with Kafka like creating topics, creating producer and consumers and creating groups and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So let's first talk about how to create Kafka topics because you know that Kafka topics are central piece in Apache Kafka. If you want to interact with Apache Kafka, you need topics and partitions of those topics. Just a reminder, if you are new to Apache Kafka and are not aware of how Kafka works, what are topics, partitions, replications, producers and consumers and consumer groups. I will highly, highly recommend you to go ahead and see this introductory video. You can see a card also over here. Okay, so let's start with Apache Kafka in Python using Confluent Kafka. So in Confluent Kafka, it is written that it is a reliable, performant and feature rich Python client for Apache Kafka version 0.8 and above. The current version is 3.x, which means this is old. Okay, so let's first talk about topics and partition. To create a topic with appropriate number of partitions and replication factor, you need to import admin client and new topic from Confluent Kafka.admin. Okay, once you have imported the admin, you need to create an admin client. Basically, the parameter in admin client is where your Kafka cluster is running. This is a single broker Kafka cluster, okay? This is running on my own machine and you can see that both the Jukeeper and Kafka server is running. So let's create a topic. To create a topic, we need to instantiate new topic with topic name, partitions and replication factor. Of course, at this moment of time, I can't keep replication factor more than one because this is a single node Kafka cluster which is running on my own PC. I have created a topic called YouTube with three partitions, okay? And here is how my topic looks like. Remember, just creating the instance of new topic doesn't create the topic. You need to call a function in admin client called create topic with topic, okay? Since this is taking an iterator, you can pass multiple topic in one function. So at this moment of time, there is only one topic. So the return of this particular function is futures okay this is python futures and you can check the values later on and at this moment of time we can see that the future state is finished so i can go ahead and list the topic and we can see that the topic youtube is here and let me describe the topic youtube and you can see that there are three partitions in this particular topic, which means our Python program has worked. Now, once you create a topic, what is the next thing you want to have? You want to have a Python producer. Let's go ahead and create a producer. To create a producer, we need to import producer. And again, we can create the instance of producer by providing the address of Apache Kafka cluster localhost at this moment of time. So basically I am sending some random text data. This is the data number one to 10. I'm sending it over here. So to send the data, you pass the topic and the encoding of the text and you can provide a callback function. So you can create a separate function, a you know, sophisticated function as a callback function, which will be called every time a topic is delivered. But in Jupyter Notebook, it is difficult to do so. That's why I have created a Lambda in this particular lambda, I'm taking two things, error and MSG. I'm not using ERR. In your own Kafka callback uh, functions, you should make use of ERR function. And right now I'm printing message delivered to a particular topic and this particular partition. A message is delivered to a topic and a particular partition out of three partitions. Okay, let me send some data and let me just send one to 10 and my data is sent to the topic okay so my topic has the data once you have data in the topic the next obvious thing is kafka consumers so let's create a kafka consumer import consumer so while creating a consumer two things are very important one is group id 
सेकेंड इज ऑटो ऑफ सेट री सेट विच इज लेटेस्ट एट दिस मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम अ कंज्यूमर हैज टू बी पार्ट ऑफ अ ग्रुप ग्रुप इज नॉट ऑप्शनल ओवर हियर सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लेटेस्ट देर इज अनदर ऑप्शन कॉल्ड अर्लीस्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट इन डिफरेंट जुपिटर नोटबुक विच वी आर गोना सी इन सम टाइम सो we have to subscribe to a topic we have subscribed to a topic called youtube and wait for data to be available in the topic so in here i am using c dot poll in poll you can also pass a time out like wait for 1 second 2 second 5 second so that if the data is not available you can break out of the loop and at this moment of time i haven't given any time out because of you know multiple prints like this so i have my consumer waiting for data in the topic now you will see that i have already sent 10 items in my topic but i am not able to receive any one of them right now why because i have given offset reset as latest it will wait for latest message which means that as soon as my kafka consumer comes up it will wait it will wait for all the latest messages that are there okay which means that any messages that are being sent to topic right now will be received by this consumer so change the topic message by adding 100 and send the data i have sent 10 more data should be received by this consumer and it is so 1012110 is received by the consumer now there might be a scenario where you want to receive the data from a topic from the beginning so let me create a different consumer with uh, let's say different group id let's say g10 something like that and subscribe to a topic called youtube so since i have given offset as earliest let us see what will happen if i call this particular loop we got all the data okay so everything that was there in the apache kafka that is being received by this you are seeing this 101 multiple times because you know accidentally i have pressed enter at this part one more time so that's the reason you are seeing it but the idea is that if you create a consumer and say reset is equal to earliest you are going to get data from the beginning in that particular topic so that's about producer and consumers let's talk about consumer group so let me create another consumer in a group called g1 you can see that our earlier consumer was in the group g1 let me create another consumer in the same group g1 okay and subscribe to same topic and it is waiting for data to come now in my producer let me add 200 over here so that it's unique i am actually sending again 10 more data so if we come to first consumer you can see that 205206 is received by first consumer in the group and rest of the 20 series is received by another consumer in the group so when you have multiple consumers in a particular group all the consumers will not get duplicate data they will get unique data they will be attached to a particular partition and they will get data unique data from those partitions and if you go ahead and see the group description let me see you know kafka consumer group minus minus bootstrap uh, server which is local host caller 9092 minus minus group edge you know g1 minus minus describe so you can see that there are two consumers uh, one consumer is you know attached to two partitions and another consumer is attached to another partition so our first consumer is this one which is attached to you know partition number 2 and other consumer is attached to partition number 1 and 2 so whatever comes to partition number 0 and 1 sorry 0 and 1 comes to different consumer otherwise other things will come to different consumer let's see this example again let me you know uh, clear this cell output so now let me send some data with 200 so i have sent the data you can see that 2 0 1 6 7 10 it's received by this a one consumer in the group and other things are received by another consumer in the group similarly if i go ahead and say 300 we can see that uh, you know again 3 1 some things are received by one consumer in the group some other series of the 3 is received by another consumer in the group but a consumer of a different group g10 is receiving all the data 
okay so if you want to get data from different different partitions and attach consumers to a particular partition you need to make sure that they are part of a group so that they don't get duplicate data but if you create a consumer in a totally different group it will get all the data and that's very very important and it's used for multiple things like one consumer group is used for you know servicing the clients another consumer group is used for adding the logging or you know background processing of all the data that is being there in Apache Kafka topics okay so this is the way you can create consumers and producers in Apache Kafka using Python as well as create and manage consumer groups as well as Apache Kafka topics so that's all about you know how to use Confluent Kafka to use Apache Kafka thank you all thanks for watching we will definitely meet again until the next time we meet good day goodbye you please take care